You'd think when you get a uh, box of fish sitting on your doorstep, it'd be a good day. But not when they come in dead. The Fish Room, helping you keep beautiful aquariums. All right, so I promise not to show any more videos of dead fish. However, the last 48 hours has been a bit of a nightmare and quite stressful for the fish room. The fish room being me and the fish room being Jake. Uh, we've had orders that were both leaving us and coming to us go south and go to wrong directions. Um, so the order that was being sent to me from him to be distributed to the few people that bought some stuff here in Nelson was meant to be sent overnight, left uh, 4 p.m., Landed in Christchurch at 11 p.m. the next day and has got to me at 10 a.m. the next day. So, you know, 36 plus hours in a poly box and transport. And unfortunately, we had a very, very cold night last night. Opened the box and as I guessed, everything was dead except for two boxes of epistogramas, believe it or not. And then there was an order coming into Jake. Again, sent on Monday. Didn't arrive to him until after four o'clock today so both orders have gone to pup so of the six epistogramas that we got the six are still breathing unfortunately i don't have them i can't show you them they have gone to the people's houses they were going to i was fully transparent and i told them exactly what happened and they decided to take them and treat them for themselves absolutely fine but what i do want to say is i know i've done a video on how to acclimatize your fish and we'll chuck it somewhere around about up here but what i do want to say is i think that the pop and plop and drop and ridiculous way of acclimatizing fish is just ridiculous honest to god it's pathetic so today when we open up the box look at the bag there was one fish that looked like it was kind of lifeless the rest of them just very very faint gill movements so what did i do I tipped out some bag water and I put them in here to warm up with an airline in it. All I needed was a handy peg, my airline and my tank. So I tipped some water out, I put some of my tank water into the bag, I clipped the bag to the edge and I put the airline to it into the bag. The fish got fresh water, they got all the ammonia and the nitrites and everything else, the crap that was in the bag with them was minimized because a lot of the water was taken out with fresh clean water and they got more oxygen coming in from there. That is why I do not believe that the flop and plop or whatever way you want to call it method is any good. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get any videos of it because I was in crisis control and I was trying to get these fish sorted out. And now that I've done that, I'm still kind of a little bit frazzled and you can probably hear that in the way that I'm talking with the speed and stuff like that. Not the speed that I'm on, but the speed that I'm talking. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, so you can probably still sort of hear that in my voice. So it's been quite a stressful day or two, but I just really wanted to emphasize how much I think that that other theory of acclimatizing fish and getting them into your aquarium is pretty ridiculous. And I personally do not feel that people should follow that system. You're far better off acclimatizing them via heat, floating the bags for a while. And in this case, we're in a bit of crisis control, so I didn't worry about the heat. I poured out the water straight away and put fresh water in. I left about this much in the bag so there was still some water and put some fresh water in for my aquarium and then put some air into it because I think that is by far a better system than plop and flop. I think we've done it in there and all six of them would be gone right now. So um, I'm very happy that they are still all breathing and I would just encourage anyone that is acclimatizing fish to acclimatize it that way and not the other way. That is me, I'm out. This is literally just a little bit of a rant. I needed to get it off my chest because today has been very stressful. Catch you later, guys.